Bakit nga ba tila sunod-sunod ang disease outbreaks sa mundo? And should we expect even more? Well, we're still reiterating that it's not a matter of if, but it's a matter of when. So, kung titingnan mo, although you know, SARS-CoV, the first SARS-CoV appeared 2002, 2004, MERS-CoV 2012, and then uh, SARS-CoV 2 is 2020 or latter part of 2019. So more or less, parang every 10 years. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be much shorter. And then, ito naman, may, may lumabas na ulit ng monkeypox. For the next four or five years, siguro, baka magkaroon ulit. It's sad to say. Well, for me, it's an inevitability. The possible reason sa pagdami ng outbreaks could be the narrowing spaces between human and animal habitats at climate change. And we're seeing that now, actually, in different parts of the world, that the, the human and animal interface are definitely narrowing in different parts of the world where nagkakaroon na talaga in contact with them. So, and that would be a prime example, classic textbook case of of a zoonotic spread of viruses. So this would probably give rise to a different strains of viruses or different strains of pathogens. It's more something to do with the behavior of, of humans responding to drought, responding to prolonged rains, not in being kapit nilang paglilipat or migration. Higher temperatures would sometimes also equate to shrinking of the forest forest fires and stuff like that. And this would mean na magkakaroon ng substantial decrease in the suitable habitat for these wild animals. Isang halimbawa ng fenomenon na ito ay naobserbahan mismo sa Pilipinas noong 2014 sa Sultan Kudarat, kung saan labing pitong tao ang nagkasakit ng Nipah virus at sampu sa kanila ay nasawi. There was an outbreak of Nipah virus very lethal virus and the fatality rate is between 40% to 75%. So suspect that they, they they got the disease from from flying foxes. Actually yung nangyari dito is the horses so may namatay na horse tinatay nila and then just so happened that yung pinagtalian daw ata nila ng, ng mga kabayo ay malapit to sa sa puno na pinagpupugaran ng mga panigi na ito. It's been proven actually in other parts of Southeast Asia na the flying foxes were, were, were the reservoir of these Nipah virus. So the fact that these flying foxes were roosting near human habitations is actually a response to the shrinking habitat. The effects of temperature changes have also been observable with malaria. For malaria, because they're distributed usually in the equator, but with the warming of the temperature, so medyo nagsishift na yung, yung mga area sa buong mundo na nagiging mainit. So, tumataas na. So, now, these these mosquitoes, which are vectors of malaria, so, pumupunta na sila doon sa mga areas na medyo hindi talagang mainit na mainit, but thereby, but in doing so, they're now coming into contact with a new set of naive hosts. Ito yung mga hindi pa nakaka-encounter ng, ng, ng mga, let's say, ng malaria. Music